Hi everyone, in this video I will show you how to create an infinite lo studio loop to uh, present this model in my scene but for you everything is, works fine with uh, the, the studio that I uh, got to create now so let's jump in first of all to create an infinite background I, have, I want to have a, a circle and in the properties I wanted to create a field type of triangle fan or angon. I usually use triangle fan. Here we go. As you can see I didn't care so much of the number of segments. That's because I want to hide these ugly uh, faces or edges with uh, some shaders shading tricks so let's go to the um, shader mode maybe we can try to add a new window so here go to shader editor and select the circle and create a new material and name it limbo if you want now I usually go to add a gradient texture with the mapping and texture coordinate nodes by pressing Ctrl T and apply it on my base color set it up to spherical and now in the UV editor you must have to center all the circle on the 2D cursor here so shift S and select it to cursor here we go I'm sorry I forgot to tell you to switch the texture coordinate to UV type and now if everything works good we can adjust the dim dimension in the uh, UV editor to create the correct uh, effect as you can see here I want to create a mask a black and white mask to create to um, mix the this circle with the background it's working in Eevee so now go to the shader editor and for this one I simply apply it on the half channel and the, and the remove it from the base color as you can see uh, in half a channel it doesn't work immediately but create this black and white without fading uh, uh, on the circle so go to the material tab and in blend mode set it to alpha blend and now as you can see we can in the black parts I can see the background of my, of my scene to create a proper background I usually go to word and create a mix shader with the light Path node on top of it and in by apply it on camera ray and by duplicate the background and apply it in the second shader if you click on the first one now I'm sorry I'm not in render mode if you enter in render mode if you click on the first one you can control the amount of light on the model and in general on the surface that are present in scene okay leave this for now something like this and with the second one you can control the light of the background also the color as you can see and uh, in, depend in, uh, in an independent uh, way from the 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 parts of the, the lights that control uh, the geometry of the scene so 
I move it to pure white and as you, and as you, and as you can see the base of my limbo is done now I will uh, apply some lighting ticks and trips to, to create the, the, a nice uh, studio in real time with AV. So I turn on ambient occlusion, maybe it's too much, so maybe we can try with 0 0.7, something like this could be great for now. And now I add a, an, an area light, rotate it on x uh, on the y x by 90 degrees and in the top view we can move it something around around here and rotate in a position that correctly illuminate my 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 scene my my chair okay we now enter on the light tab and start to tune the, the the correct amount of light for for our purpose maybe we can try with something like this and in shadow mode I apply contact shadow that's increase the realism of the the shadow as you can see here near the legs now I I can create some on minus uh, settings so I can go maybe I wanna move it more in front of my model something like this I duplicate it and place it on the other side to create a fill light and I reduce by an half or maybe more the lights that come in by this light maybe we can try with 10 watts okay just a little bit more 20 to create a nice lighting on my on my model okay after doing this maybe I can scale a little bit more my my limbo that's because I want to have more shadow on top of it and to increase the the power of the shadow you can simply uh, reduce the size of the of the lamps as you can see here the shadow becomes more crisp maybe too much I like the 0 0.25 and move these lights a little bit up and point on my chair here last thing to do simply add a camera control alt numpad 0 to frame the, and match the position of the view with my camera and I usually reset the rotation of it and position in the chosen and correct position for you maybe I can use a 75 millimeters of focal length move it backwards maybe we can try to move it down a bit move it on the other side and I think the last thing to do is rotate a bit the model maybe we have 
a little down picture so I can try to sorry do doing something like this or maybe I want to create a shift of my render to avoid this so I'm in the camera um, properties I'm gonna sorry increase the shift negative shifting of my object on the y-axis to have a more top-down view of my object as you can see with this method you can create a very quick environment for any kind of uh, render do you want to have and uh, this scene is quick and fully customizable and you can reuse it in many cases of product render uh, for quick rendering for products uh, uh, for furniture and so much more so see you at the next lesson bye